What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Jalen Veasley, coming at you with the first inaugural video of my blog. It was a video blog, so it's a vlog. I'll make sure I get that right. Usually, I'm just gonna show up every so often and do a vlog. It's just a discussion vlog. All I'm doing is talking about a topic that's on my mind that day or that week or something. You can leave your two cents for it in the comments. Just hit me up if there's a topic that you want me to talk about personally. Uh, what was I gonna say? Brain fart. Also, I do music, so this is not the music channel, but on this channel, it will be like video blogs of us making music. So it'll just be recording sessions that go on in my dorm room. You can't tell this is a college dorm room. I'm from Dallas, but I'm studying here at the University of Memphis. But yeah, I make music. Uh, you can check out the videos here that show you how we made the beat and how we made the song. And then I'll be releasing music on a separate YouTube channel. And also it'll be on Apple Music, Spotify and all that. And all these links will be in the description so you don't gotta worry about that. But without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and I'll talk to you about the subject today, which is leaders. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, leaders, is this the right time to be talking about leaders? Yeah, this is always the right time to be talking about leaders because leaders lead. Nah, for real though? Leaders pretty much control what we do and who we are and things like that. Leaders are the reason I probably have this iPad. Let's not get too in depth with it, but leaders control mostly the decisions we make every day. And my discussion is, are leaders born? or our leaders made. Just think about it. So you and your group of friends, right? You know you, like group of five, six friends. If someone comes up and asks a question, who's the one that speaks out first? Usually the leader. And the thing is, with groups of friends, they never sit down and vote and be like, okay, here's who I want to be the leader. And then this person runs for leader of this friend group. No, no, no. Friends just naturally have that person who is that leader of the group. They don't necessarily have to assert themselves as leader, but they usually kind of just separate themselves as a leader, kind of rise to the occasion, you know what I'm saying? Got racks on, racks on, racks. So I grew up in Texas, right? And probably like across all the US, Texas has its little group of leadership schools where kids can go from an early age and learn to develop leadership skills which is cool and all, but it's like, are you manufacturing these kids to be leaders in a sense, or are you developing the skills that they already have? And what I'm saying is, you could even see it from a young age and a young group of friends, like five, six, seven year olds, they always have that one leader. Now, did he go to a leadership school and become that leader? Maybe, maybe not. Sometimes it was just developed or innate at an early age. So it's saying, are leaders born or leaders made? Are leaders a product of their environment? If you grew up in the hood versus did you grow up into an affluent neighborhood, like, would you still be that leader that you are today? Take Barack Obama, for example. Barack Obama grew up in Hawaii. Now, if we took Barack Obama, moved him to an inner city here in America, do you think that he would have developed to be the leader that he was? Now, I'm not saying he ran the country to the very best. I'm not saying he didn't. Now, that's a whole different discussion, a whole different vlog for a whole different day. Just like the Donald Trump thing is for a whole different vlog, whole different discussion, whole different day. But between Barack Obama and Donald Trump, they had to exude somewhat leadership qualities to somehow get in the office, whether they manipulated the electoral vote system not that's a whole different discussion as well but these leaders that we put in office were they born to be the leaders that we put in office or did they develop some skills of some sort are they a product of their environment whether they grew up in this neighborhood or that neighborhood in a different socioeconomic status did that somehow play into the factors of them becoming leaders i personally think that leaders are probably more born than made. Honestly, because I've seen some bad coaches, some bad politicians in my 
very extenuous 18 years of life. And a lot of times they aren't bad people. They just aren't fit to lead. And I wonder if it's because they just weren't natural born leaders or did they not get a chance to develop those skills that makes them a leader? And I know what you're thinking. Oh, well, Jalen, everyone can be a leader. Yeah, you're right. Everyone can be a leader. Your janitor can be a leader. You know, your store clerk can be a leader. Hell, your dog can be a leader. Now, I've never seen a dog lead me, but look, I've only lived for so long. If you've seen a dog lead you, just tell me right now. But anyone can be a leader and you just have to lead by example in the way you carry yourself and the way that you speak, the way and the things that you do. But even in that sense, are people meant to be leaders on a small scale or on a tall scale, depending on how many, how much time, excuse me, that they have to develop their leadership skills? Does everyone have a chance to develop the leadership skills? Like, do they have like a maximum? That's my thing. Like, can you only be a leader for a certain subsection? What do you mean now? Like, the presidents, could they have been as successful on a small scale just as they were or were not on a big scale? Or even the less successful presidents? What if they were mayors? What if they were teachers, you know? What if they were governors? What if they were just people who ran the school administration? Would they still be as successful, more successful or less successful? So my things on leadership are, is leadership born or is it made? Can you develop your leadership skills? And does your background or your social status have an impact? There you go. Does it impact the way that you were developed as a person? Have to somehow put that in the words because you know I can't English right now. So next time you go see a leader that you know or someone that you consider a leader, say your parents are a leader, ask them, were you born or were you made a leader? How did you become the leader that you were today? You know what I'm saying? Just ask a leader in that position, what helped you become a leader? Were you born this way? Have you always had these qualities? Did someone help you develop these qualities? Was the way that you were raised help develop these qualities? Let them come out more or let them be closed in? You know what I'm saying? Even sometimes people that are natural born leaders don't tend to always step out. When you were put in these leadership positions, excuse me, were you voted into this leadership position? Were you recommended by your peers? Were you appointed? Or did you just naturally graduate to the top? I mean, it's kind of like a friend group. No one told this person that he was gonna be the leader of our group, but by gosh, Dante came and he was the leader of our group now. I don't know who Dante is. I just made up a random nigga, but that's not the point. Point is, Dante rose up and now he's the leader of the group because maybe he's the most outspoken, maybe he's the most intelligent, maybe he just has the most encouragement. He just exudes the best qualities. Knock, knock. Okay, hold up, hold up. Ah. And we're back. The homeboy got locked out the room, so you already know how it is. All in all, everyone's a leader. You're a leader, I'm a leader. Your mama's a leader, your mama's mama's a leader. Your mama's neighbors, dog walkers, cousins, aunts, sons, picket fence builder is a leader. What I'm trying to say is everyone is a leader and we can all lead by example, action, and demeanor. How some ever. The leaders that we see today, just think about how they became a leader. What process did it take? Did it take any process at all? How did they become the leader that they are today? And what factors influenced them? So that's all I have for today. Uh, if you like, like the video, subscribe. Uh, if you have any thoughts, leave it in the comments. Also look out for new music. Also look out for new videos and vlogs. So stay on top of it. Peace, love, and hair grease over and out.